Intentional sin or secret sin. Secret sins. This is uh, an epidemic that's occurring in our nation today. Even among Christendom. The scriptures clearly says in 1 John 2, 1, My little children, these things I write unto you that you sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ our righteousness. And 1 John 1, 9 says, if we confess our sins, God is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. A lot of Christians today are fooling themselves into thinking that if they sin, all they got to do is confess and God will forgive them. Yes. If they sin. See, Christians don't walk in sin. They don't. There's a difference between unintentional sin and intentional sin. There is people, there's a difference. Intentional sin is very Dangerous. What am I saying? A good example is fornication. Scripture says flee fornication. Every sin that man does, if it's talked about it, but he that committed fornication sent it against his own body. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife and every woman have her own husband. You have a lot of Christians that say they're Christian now. But they are committing fornication on occasion. Well, how can you say you're a Christian? You walking in fornication? Well, I asked God to forgive me. God forgave me. All right. Then go right back out and commit intentional sin again by fornicating. Well, I ask God to forgive me. All right. Then go right back out and commit fornication again. See, a lot of Christians are playing God for a fool. God is no fool. And another thing, too, let me just continue this vein pornography. Back in the 70s and 80s, even the 90s, I mean, people had to go to a, a particular store to watch pornography. Nope, don't have to do that anymore. They can watch it on this now. In their homes, by themselves few clicks, and they can watch as much as they want to. I'm, I'm serious, people. They can watch as much as they want to on this. It's secret. Nobody sees them. Nobody knows it. Just every once in a while. That's all, just every once in a while. But God sees. The Father sees. And young Christians especially are caught up into that. They really are. Just, it's just a fact. But if I confess my sin, God is faithful and just to forgive me of my sin. Yes. But you must repent 
and sin no more. It's like Jesus told that woman that was caught in adultery. Repent and sin no more. Because intentional sin can send you to hell. It really can, people. Intentional sin can send you to hell. You have a lot of people drinking to the excess, cheating on their spouses, sinning in their mind. They're not sinning with someone, but they are constantly thinking evil thoughts on a consistent basis. They're in a fantasy world on a consistent basis, but yet they claim to be a Christian. Watching demonic movies. Because I remember back when I was I guess 20 years ago, maybe 30, I'm not sure, watching thematic movies like Hellraiser. I don't know if any of you have ever seen it before, but <laughs> it is pure demonic. That's a sin. It's just too many sins to, to even talk about. It's just I mean, it's just a lot people are doing. But thinking that God is not looking at them, he is. God is watching. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. According to Proverbs 15.3, your angel that spoke to you, watching over you and protecting you. Psalms 34, 7. He's seeing what you're doing. Because I can remember back years ago, my angel speaking to me and telling me not to be discouraged. Every believer has an angel that watches over them. Do. If you are doing intentional sin, your angel is this is displeased. Now not only that, if you're filled with God's Holy Spirit, that Holy Spirit within you is grieved. Not only that, demon spirits are watching you constantly. If these are 6 12, said, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and rulers of darkness of this world and spiritual weakness in high places, for we wrestle not. Evil spirits are constantly coming against you to get you to disobey God. And if a believer is intentionally sinning, they are saying, Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. See, not only that, there are people in the occult world that are watching you, that are monitoring you. That's right. Through magic mirrors. And I didn't realize this until some years ago. People in the occult world, witchcraft, santeria, Voodoo and all kinds of occult paraphernalia, they are monitoring us as well. They are infiltrating churches to get Christians to sin. Christians, we have our gifts, the gifts of the Spirit. Nobody hardly ever operates in them because we are told not to. The gift of discerning of spirits, the word of knowledge, 
the words of wisdom, the gifts of healing, faith, miracle, all that. You know, Christians don't operate in that. Pastors will not allow it. See? But the spirit realm is constantly watching us as believers to motivate believers to walk in sin. Preferably in secret where nobody knows. I mean, pastors seducing young boys and young girls and anybody who he can seduce. Because I remember a guy was testifying up when he was involved in uh, with Jim Jones cut. He said, Jim Jones walked up to him one day in private and said, would you like for me to F you in your ASS? He was shocked. <laughs> Jim Jones, the guy who was responsible for the murder of 900 people in Guyana. See, there's a lot of Secret sins that people don't know about yet. These preachers are up preaching and talking about Jesus and all that, but yet many of them are also in secret sins. I could just go on and on and on and on, but secret sins are going to send a lot of people to hell. Even people that confess Jesus Christ as their Lord. Because when Jesus Christ told that woman who was caught in adultery, sin not. Sin no more. At least say worse things should come upon you. So Christians, believers, repent. And sin no more. At least say worse things to come upon you. Stop sinning. Stop sinning. And walk in the light. As he is in the light. God bless.